So one of the shipping methods we didn't cover, and we probably should look into, is free shipping. From this screen, go ahead and click on Edit the United States USPS Zone, and let's add a shipping method. So one of the shipping methods we haven't covered yet, and one you should probably look into, is free shipping. We're here at the Shipping Zones screen, and to add free shipping, we need to do this for each zone that we've configured. So I'm going to go into the United States zone, click Edit, and click Add Shipping Method. Change this to Free Shipping, and click Add Shipping Method. And you'll see that free shipping is now a possibility. We need to edit this because we don't want to have every single order available for free shipping. That might actually cost us quite a bit of money. So let's configure that. So the way to trigger this is to figure out what is going to require free shipping. And we have four options. A valid free shipping coupon, minimum order amount, a minimum order amount or a coupon, or a minimum order amount and a coupon. Let's keep it simple. We'll just go ahead and choose a minimum order amount. So the trick here is to figure out how much users spend on a typical order, which is called average order value, and then set that unlockable free shipping price just above that. It's going to save you a ton of money, but it's going to give your users some incentive. So for our store, the cheapest product is $20. We could set the unlockable free shipping at 40, so users have to buy at least two items to get the free shipping. Again, this is completely up to you. It has to make sense for your store. The nice thing is you can always tweak it as you go. So let's go ahead and say, so let's go ahead and actually change that to $40. That way people have to buy at least two items in order to get free shipping. Go ahead and click Save Changes. So now we've got it set for our US shipping zone. We need to duplicate that for the local zone that we set up earlier. So I'm going to quickly go in and do that. Because remember, these are completely separate zones now. And if we didn't do it here, well, then anyone in Indiana would never qualify for free shipping. And once again, easy to set up. Minimum order amount, and we said $40. So keep that in mind. As you're building out your zones, you'll need to make these consistent. So we now have unlockable free shipping. I'm going to drag that up to the top and put local pickup above USPS as well, because in Indiana, ah, that's what I want to show. Click Save Changes, and let's head out to our store. So I'm going to head over and add another product to my cart. I'm going to view the cart now, and I have $55 worth of stuff in my cart. And you'll notice I'm already logged in, so it knows I'm in Indiana, and it's giving me the free shipping up at the top, the local pickup rate, as well as all of the USPS rates that are available to me. And so it's really that simple. It does take some planning. It takes some thought. But once you've got it, WooCommerce takes all of the guesswork out of it for you and really does a nice job. In our example, we used USPS and local pickup because they're pretty easy to set up and really powerful.